Hello you amazing people, it's me Ivan and I'm back playing yet another set of random horror games. It's hot, by the way, I just I just want to say that, alright? Before starting this video, I want to say it's so fucking hot, like I feel like I'm going to explode or melt. It's super hot. Just just saying, so recording this videos it's like a hero's job, so you know, just just saying. Anyways, our first game is called Crash Can. This was developed by Raniel Top. I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. This is their first game. And uh, yeah, let's start playing. Task. Take out the trash. Press F to turn your flashlight on and off. Nice. And this looks nice. Uh, it gives a little bit of Minecraft kind of look. Um, um, why is this closed? So there are two endings, I guess, to this game. So, we're gonna find ending number one. Oh, look at that car! We have a uh, something car. Oh, it won't let me. Alright. And we have multiple houses. Nice. Neat. That's great. Is there anything outside here? Oh, there's a forest. Oh, look at those trees. See, I like this uh, pixelation. I'm not a fan of the effect of overlay, you know, with the camera, but the other things, like the design, is pretty creepy. Oh, hello there. Where are you supposed to be? You want to take my trash? You trash boy? Alright. Alright, that's it. Can we just leave? Oh, look at that shit. What is that? By the way, this is the worst flashlight in the history of flashlights ever. What was that? Go back home. I don't know what was that, but I'm gonna get clapped. Can I go back to my neighbor? Like, hey Wilson, I need that money you took from me. Um, I'm fucking lost. Also, my house is very different from all the others. Alright, let's go. It looks like the light is, yeah. Don't come back to your home. He will something. Task. I guess we have a choice to stay in a home and uh, get in the car, so I'd rather get in the car. We unlock the good ending, which means that the bad ending is up to you to discover. But I think the bad ending involves a jump scare and going into the house. What are my thoughts about Trash Can? I think for someone who made their first game, this is a big achievement. Like, literally, I say that a lot, but if you go and look up my first game, it's literally a game made in Blender game engine, which is like fucking insane because I didn't know how to code. I didn't know how to make all the things. So I just, you know, try to make a game. So yeah, for someone to make a game like this, it's uh, it's an achievement. So good job. Definitely supports the developer because I saw there were no playthroughs on their page, so definitely check out the developer, link is in the description, and let's move on to the next game. Our second game is called Overnight Camping. This was developed by Will Jacob. I hope I'm not pronouncing their name correctly. I actually did play their first game called Exterminator, which I loved. It was so much fun going into the vents, and I was, you know, maybe second or third person to play their game and post on their games page. So yeah, I've seen this, by the way, being played by Hazoween. Uh, link will be in the description. Shout out to them. And uh, uh, she had this um, long stream of horror games and uh, she posted this. So I decided, you know, let me try it out too. So yeah, I don't know all the endings. There are like four or five endings maybe. So, you know, let's just follow the flow. I don't know. Follow the flow? Wow, that's something weird to say, isn't it, Niven? Better head to the side. Ooh. Oh, I don't appreciate this type of pixelation. Like, look, look, the frame rate, like, drops crazy, man. Oh, look at that. The goblin. No, it's not goblin, but it's glowing green, so... Alright. Place set up. Setting up camp. I need to go get wood. Can I can I take this? What is this, by the way? Oh, this is um um yeah whatever. All right, so uh, let's go. Let's go get some uh, wood, I guess. All right. 
Why would you camp overnight all alone? It seems kind of sad. You always go with a partner, you know? All right, so someone did set this up, right? I mean, all right, let's chop some wood. All right, what the fuck? I saw something. There was like something right there. That was fucking crazy. Uh... What? I got all the wood. Yeah, somebody... Somebody's gonna jump scare me. Can I... Can I follow that path? You know what? Let's get back. You know, fuck it. I don't want to be one to find out. And if you want to be the one to find out, you know, check out Hazoween's video stream because she... She gave it her best. I think the game also initially had multiple bugs and then it got fixed. So, you know, great job developer. Like, I always enjoy when there is fair criticism to the developer and they change something in the game. I need to get matches. All right, let's get matches. Yeah. Can we go in the tent? You've successfully made a campfire. Oh, nice, nice. This was ending one completed. What are my thoughts about overnight camping? The game closed off, which I do not like when the games do that. So developer, if you're watching this, please don't do that. All right, please don't do that. Either have an escape key, which player can press, or just go back to the menu. Either one works for me, but yeah, don't just, you know, quit the application. I, I hate that because when I'm recording the games, it usually, like, stops and then the entire recording messes up. So, uh, yeah, that aside, that aside, I really like this. It was very simple. I would appreciate to have more scares, like, more visualization of the monster. And um, otherwise, yeah. Also, why are we just going out camping is there other reason maybe we are like hiding from someone or from something like you can put that in your game or maybe update it so uh yeah this was definitely a neat short game if you want to check out other endings like i said has wings link is in the description otherwise you can check out the game too and uh, play it for yourself so yeah let's move on to the next game our third and final game is called can i come in this was developed by randell this was made for visual novel game jam and i really wanted to check this one out because i rarely do a playthrough of visual novel games especially horror games which deal with serious issues you know psychological horror and i think those games are the best and i think we are mostly focused on the first person game so yeah uh, we're just warning this does feature like heavy language and some abuse and other violent themes so yeah before starting just if you don't want to watch this you know click away let's start this one you hear three knocks outside your room in rapid succession they are outside your door i'm sorry can we try again please let me in no this is the last time you will play this sick game her don't have jingles can i come in I promise I won't. No more. Oh, this is what I say. Go away. Really? We want to end things even after all this time? What did I do now? I really am sorry. Please let me in. No. Fuck you. Do you know what I went through just dealing with you? Hey, hey, hey. Why won't you calm the fuck down? Okay? What I gave up for you? Every day I went through hell just to hold your hand and this is how you repay me? Wait, wait, wait a minute. Nobody, nobody is asking you anything, right? And I don't have to repay you anything. If you do something for me, you're doing something for me because you want to, all right? Otherwise, if I ask you, just lend me money and then you come home and you ask me for that money. Otherwise, you know, fuck you. Leave me alone. Yeah, exactly. You piece of shit. Oh, wow. This, this dude, whoever is, you know, behind that door needs, you know, a fucking brain check. You'll regret this. 
The door starts to shake. Just let me in so we can talk. But you'll just hurt me. When have I ever hurt she? Your wrists start to burn just thinking about it. Oh no. Oh, you piece of shit. Oh man, that, that, whoever's behind that door needs like, you know, castration. Come on. Just please don't make any rash decisions. Think about everything you went through. Do you remember the carnival? Yes. I won you that teddy bear you like so much. And then we saw the fireworks together. I know. Can I... S you can smell the sulfur, huh? You look across the bed and see the same bear, just like you. He saw everything. Now it's fraying at the seams and ready to fall apart. Oh, wow. This is depressing. Shit. I didn't realize the game would be this depressing. Now that you think about it, all the trinkets they ever gave you is collecting dust. An item for each time they broke your heart. The sewing thread and needle you held is long forgotten but can be renewed to bring it back to life. But is it worth taking all the time to repair something so broken? It hurts. Your heart hurts. It hurts so much. Look, I know we've had our fair share of problems, but it's because I care about you. Oh, this is like typical bullshit. Come on. I love you. No, fuck you. So I'll give you one more chance to make things... Oh, you give me one more chance to take things right? Yeah? You know what? Fuck you. I need to let you go. You base... <laughs> you will never forgive... I will never forgive you. Let me in now. I'll kill you. Yeah, sure thing, buddy. Sure thing. The door bangs and bangs for hours. You will never going to find someone like me. Yeah, that's the whole point. Yeah, exactly. And then suddenly it's quiet. Are they going to come back? You'll never know. But for now, you're free. You can go away somewhere, I guess. I don't know. Yet something in your heart whispers that you still need them. And that longing will never go away. No, you don't need that piece of shit. Ending one, longing. No, no, there's no longing in all this. Uh, well, this was quite an experience. Like I said, those type of like visual novels games, they don't necessarily give you like a horror jump scare attack. They don't necessarily give you the spooky ghost or monster chase, but they definitely shock you and that shock has a value. I really like this actually. The writing was splendid. There were some dark themes, of course, which some of you who are watching may not understand. And I wouldn't say, like, for a fact that everything is as simple as it seems. Of course, number one, the abuse is very bad. And if you are in an abusive relationship, you should definitely seek help. You should definitely have someone and, you know, have someone to help you. But unfortunately, sometimes people don't. And that's where the discussion goes in the other direction of, you know, how to prevent some things from happening and how to make those problems go away. Now, I don't want to go on with this because I'm not a professional, but of course, I am really saddened by the fact that there are people who have to deal with this every day, actually, who do not have a choice to do not open the door. And I, I, I feel really sad and bad about it. So... Yeah, this game, definitely, it's for a short experience, it kind of qualifies to explain a little bit, a little chunk of, you know, that type of toxic relationship. But of course, the widespread, like the general idea of how toxic relationships are, it's very different and it's very painful. So that's, that's all I can say. Definitely great game. It went a little bit over the bar with, you know, having that small chunk. But once again, this is just a visual novel. This is just a game. So that's all you need to know. Anyways, that was it, guys, for this uh, video. I hope you enjoyed the games. All the games were actually quite decent. Yeah, all of, all of these were great. Definitely support the developers because those developers need your support. And I need you to support them so that I can be happy and make games and make videos and make tutorials also. Yes. Anyways, thanks everyone else for watching and I wish you an amazing day. Stay safe.